Hi all my friends. Well this morning I ended up going to a seminar that had to do with uh, gadgets or different ideas that would make it easier um, when you're on the road or living in this lifestyle. So it might not be for everybody so I'm going to give the heads up. <laughs> if you're interested in um, this I'm just going to run all the clips and it'll probably be with two parts. Um, so that way if, if you're not interested in the gadgets then just go ahead and stop right now <laughs> from watching and that you know that way nobody has to be bored okay but I just found a lot of the uh, gadgets and ideas were um, pretty pretty helpful so yeah so um, if it if it interests you definitely do that and I'll try to do this a part one and a part two okay because there was uh, I, I couldn't film them all but I filmed some of them okay all right so I love you all and I'll see you in the next video and enjoy the clips one from Coleman. I think it was around ten dollars on Amazon, but it works really well and much more even on the coasting. Just uh, Amazon uh, just camp coaster and it'll come up. This is one of my most important nomading tools, and what they are is um, noise canceling headphones. And they are unbelievably quiet. They have a circuitry that cancels the sound or balances it somehow. Um, but they're really quieter than headphones. Than any headphones or, or earbuds or they're quieter than any um, earplugs or anything. And I think we're Bob. Bob, your inner nomad would love these. <laughs> your inner nomad would love these, Bob. Um, these, this is a boys, and her little speakers are boys. They're um, $100 ones last year with the wire on, on eBay, and these are fancy $300 rechargeable Bluetooth. But boy, it just so many situations where I find total silence from these. Everybody wants to put them on and listen, you're welcome to. And not listen. And not listen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't need a mic. Yes, yes you do. Yes, you do. <coughs> yes, you do. <coughs> all right, all right, I need a mic. Uh, this is going to be a hard act to follow because I have here the ultimate gadget, I promise you. <laughs> and I carry it with me, and it's a model of my home, and it inspires me. And it would probably inspire you. It has seven billion little creatures on it. You need an <laughs> And I look at it all the time. And I recommend you <laughs> have one too. <laughs> And this is the uh, Coleman propane adapter that you can adapt to your big tank and fill the small tanks that usually cost $350 each at Walmart or more in specialty yeah. stores. So you put it on your big tank, you, you uh, turn your tank upside down, it's great if you warm up the big tank, you take the little tanks and you can, uh, if you can make them colder, it's better for, to pressurize it easier. But you're not always cold in the desert. So what you can do is on that little bottle, after you fill it a little bit more, you, you take it off the big bottle, 
you take some gas out of it with a screwdriver by pressing the little um, pointer in there. If anyone wants to come by my tent sometime, I can show you how to do this. Um, that'll make the, the bottle really cold when the propane is coming out. So you waste a little propane, but it allows you to refill it from the big one for 10 cents, 25 cents, and be able to use it on the portable heaters or whatever you may be using. And this is like $10 or something on Amazon, and it's really saved <coughs> hundreds of dollars over the years of uh, boondocking. Uh, it's, a propane, it's, it's a propane adapter from your big tank to small tank. What is it? A Mac coupler. Thank you. <laughs> screws out of that. The cover this side, pop it in, oh, cool. puts a lot of light out. That's cool. It um, is also dimmable, which uh, if you don't know LEDs, some are dimmable, some are not. So you can get a dimmer for it, so you can drop it down to just a very light level. We, uh, A friend of ours showed us this. It took us a while to find one. We actually went to a RV place and had a special order because they'd never seen it before. But then we found it, uh, of all places, in Camping World. They had a special on for $25. But pretty amazing. I'm sure the Camping World's got for 25 you can find it yourself. But it's called a chandelier. That's the company. Chandelier. chandelier, like a light chandelier. But it's amazing how much light it puts out. Obviously, the LED is very low. It comes in, if you're familiar with LEDs, they come in different color ranges. Not red, green, blue, but yellowish, whitish, and it comes in all. So you can get it. We have the light, the more yellow, the easier on our eyes for reading. We bought three and put them on uh, two vents, and then my wife put adhesive Velcro on, and guess what, you can put it anywhere you want. Put the wires yeah. to the fan? Yes, exactly. She brought it up. The power that goes to your van, uh, the fan or something, you just wire that right into it. So, yeah. Um, everybody's talked about getting, uh, getting your signals. Uh, we bought an amplifier, and you're probably seeing Wilson is a company that makes some very good amplifiers for your cell phone. Um, they come in different powers. We were in the boonies of Washington up in the mountains, so we went for the highest power one we could get, and that's what this is. And what's interesting about them is they work on all carriers, because if you're not technical, I'm a technical gearhead, carriers use different frequencies. So like what Verizon uses, or what AT&T, they're different frequencies. These will work on all. And in its basic unit, it comes with, I have to show you, it's kind of clever. It's got a little antenna. When I saw it, I'm thinking, I don't look like much of an antenna. But, here it is. This little antenna has a coil in the bottom. If you're driving something metal, a van, a car, whatever, this is a strong magnet. You put it on the roof and it uses the whole car body as an antenna. And it's amazing. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, we have a fiberglass thing we're driving, okay? <laughs> 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 Does it have a coaxial um, attachment? Would it work as an antenna? No. Different frequency. Yes, by TV antenna. Uh, let me see. This one here is uh, Smart Tech 2. And it's smart because it actually, see all those LEDs, it'll tell you when it finds cell phones of different frequencies. It'll light up and turn green. The then on the other end of it, there's this little flat guy. And this is actually a little tiny antenna. So you got your antenna little giddy Then it turns around and broadcasts to this inside. And you can get close to it. Or you can just lay, for instance, a over the cell phone and put the light on it so it's really getting max. Put the cell phone into the mode where it's retransmitting to our tablets and notebooks and all that sort of stuff. And so that works. Unfortunately, we were out in the boonies, so <laughs> we had to get a large antenna, which is a very special light. This thing will pull, uh, we pull from cell towers that are 80 and 90 miles away. That's but it's directional. There's an app for that. You get online, there's an app that tells you where your cell towers are. You turn around, aim this at it, and it's pretty amazing how far it is. So it's a good toy. And when you got in the boonies, we need this. We got a little pole. See, it's got a little coax connection. We got some coax that runs and connects to this. <coughs> <coughs> or some of us. <coughs> Do we have a raw 
rolling around in our rig. <laughs> I, I found a solution. You know, it gets dirty. It's kind of embarrassing. Microphone, to take it I tell you. It's embarrassing you to be carrying it around. So I. Um, Drop it in a Kleenex box. It fits right in there. <coughs> it pops right out. If I had to, we would have kept it.